Good morning children. Today we will discuss about clouds and it's one of the part relative clouds. And before going into the concept of relative clouds, just we need to understand this word clouds. Clouds is a group of word that has a subject and a verb. If there is any one of these missing in the sentence, then it won't be considered as, sub, as, as a clause, but it will be just a phrase. Phrase is also a set of words, but it can be any set of words, like a beautiful flower. Okay. Now, I'll talk about the types of clouds. The first one is in, independent clouds. Independent clause is that one which expresses a complete sense. It does not need anything to add up with it to make a sense. It has complete meaning in it only. Okay, when I talk about dependent clause, dependent clause is that one which is supportive one and cannot stand alone. It need it needs something with it to make a complete sense. Okay. If I talk about now here, the first uh, sentence, I wrote a letter to my mother. This sentence does not need anything to add up with it to make a sense. It has complete uh, information in it and it will be considered as an independent clause. Now, if I talk about this one, who lives in village? Jo Gaumadeti. Who? Kaum. Jo Gaumadeti. It means... There is something missing in the sentence. It is requiring something to be added with it to make a complete sense. Okay. Now, I'll talk about the types of de uh, dependent clause. There are three types of dependent clause. Noun, relative or adverbial. Here we will talk about relative clause because each one of them have a separate concept to understand. So, we'll discuss them in different videos. Okay. So, relative clause and or adjective clause means this relative clause is also called adjective clause now before uh, understanding the whole concept just understand these two words separately relative means to relate something to a person thing uh, Place means relating something to these things, uh, which are actually nouns. Okay, or we can say it in another words, relating something to a noun or a pronoun. Now, if I talk about adjective, adjective is a word that denotes or qualifies or modifies a noun, pronoun. In a sentence like here I have written down a sentence I have a red pen this red is qualifying the word pen now the word clause over here okay. clause as I already told you that is a set of words containing a subject and a verb if there is any one of these two is missing in the sentence or clause then it won't be considered as a clause okay as a whole, if I talk about this one, little clause is a set of words or is a group of words which will qualify or modify a noun in the sentence. And to modify these uh, nouns, we need some little pronouns like who, which, whom, whose or that. These are always kept at front of the dependent clause like the here who lives in the village and these uh, pronoun are used to introduce relative clause okay I have an example over here Gaurav is a good boy I can trust him this sentence Gaurav is a good boy is a complete sentence is a is an independent sentence or clause and I can trust him I can trust him if somewhere shows that there is requiring or there is something to be added with this uh, uh, depending clause. So what we will do, we will remove this word him from the sentence and 
keep it, uh, keep the uh, really brown who and all that in in between all these two sentences. Like Gaurav is a good boy. Who I can trust. This pe main vishwas kar sakta hu. Right? And there is uh, a rule. If there is a verb after the native pronoun, okay, then we cannot uh, remove this native pronoun, the native pronoun from the uh, sentence. But if the native pronoun is not subject in the sentence, then we can remove it. Like this is not the actual subject here, who or that. The actual subject is I over here. So I can remove these two pronouns. Okay. So the sentence comes here. Gaurav is a good boy. I can trust. Now we will talk about uh, the types of native clouds. The first one is defining native clouds. And second one is non-defining native clouds. Now what is actually the defining native clouds? Here the clouds gives not extra information but very important information or necessary information about the noun okay otherwise even the first sentence does not you know, seem like a complete one okay i have an example over here here the man was from mumbai admin mumbai se tha kaun admin there is a question coming okay the man who that sold me a car was from Mumbai. Admi, jisne mujhe wo car bechi wo Mumbai se tha. Now here, this is a very important information about this man who sold me a car. So here we won't use comma in between. Now if I talk about non-defined relative clause, then we need to understand that the sentence which is the first one or the clause which is the independent one has the complete sense it does not require anything in it to add up to make a sense okay here we mark a comma to give this extra information like here Dehradun is a beautiful city. This is complete sentence. I don't think there is requiring anything to add up with it. No. But if I want to give an extra information with this sentence, then I have to mark a comma like Dehradun, which has a population of around 2 million. This key population of 2 million here is a beautiful city. Again, here we will mark a comma. This is called non defining clouds. One more thing, here we can use that in place of who, okay, but here we cannot use that in place of which or who. We always omit or avoid writing that here in non-defining sentences or clause. I hope this uh, you might have understood. We need to understand one more type of relative clause and that is no relative clause. Okay. And for this you need to understand only two things. The first one is if there is a verb after reporting pronoun. This one. This is relative pronoun who and this is the verb. Okay. Helping verb or verb. Anything can be there. Then this relative pronoun cannot be removed or leave out from the sentence or from the clause okay because it has the role of a subject over here now if the reporting work is reporting pronoun is not the subject like this one so actual subject is i here so we can you know move we can you know uh, omit it from we can omit it from the sentence I hope you understood. Thank you. Now, I'll write down a few sentences over here to make you understand the relative clause. Okay? Now, we will understand these three sentences keeping relative clause in mind. Okay. 
Let's start with the first sentence. She worked for a man. वह एक आदमी के लिए काम करती थी. The man used to be an athlete. वो आदमी जो है एक एथलीट हुआ करता था. Now, this seems like a complete sentence, independent one. But when we talk about this one, the man used to be an athlete. वो आदमी एक एथलीट हुआ करता था. कौन आदमी? Means here the question comes. Okay, so this will be considered as a dependent clause. Now, how we will combine these two together to make a complete sentence? We will just remove this word, the man, from this sentence, and in place of it, we will write down who. Now, read it. She work for a man who used to be an athlete. Now this portion of the sentence who used to be an athlete is the relative clause and it is qualifying the noun a man. I hope you understood it. Okay, now I'll, read, I'll go with the second. We broke the computer. We broke the computer. Humne computer toda? The computer belonged to my father. Or computer jo hai, wo mere pitai se कौन सा कंप्यूटर? The first one is the complete uh, sentence and second one is independent. So it is the dependent uh, clause. The computer belong to my father. The computer मेरे पिताजी से संबंधित है. कौन सा कंप्यूटर? So for this what we need to do we need to just remove this one and in place of this we will write down which. Okay. Uh, now read the whole sentence. We brought computer which belonged to my father. Here, this portion of the sentence which belonged to my father is the relative clause and it is qualifying the noun, the computer. I hope you understood this. Now, the third one. She loves books. Complete sentence, independent one. The books have happy ending. We kitab hai jinka amta sukad ho. Now, kaun si kitab hai? For this, what we need to do, we need to remove this portion of the sentence and in place of it, we will write down which. So now read the complete one. She loves books which have happy ending. This portion of the sentence which have happy ending is the native clause and it is qualifying or modifying the word books. I hope you understood this. Now one more thing, we can write down that in place of who, which, and which. Oh yeah. So this might have surely make you understand a bit about the relative clause and thank you so much.